something up. All right, in this demo, I'm going to do the L bracket with corners. Um, I'm going to build this in the particular coordinates. So with my construction geometry active, I can create a point at a specific coordinate. I'm going to go for this demo, two inches in the X, minus two inches in the Y, and two inches above the part, the axis. So you can see it's giving you coordinates in X, Y, Z coordinates. All right? So that's whatever coordinates you're given, you can just type them in, select OK, and it'll generate a point, which is almost impossible to see because I got my points set to black. I'll uh, try and change that color. You could change the type too, but that's, a, I think, the easiest one I can get. All right, so there's my point right here. I have the point highlighted. I can find axis in the features. So we're going to add, use the axis feature to create that axis on this point. So I'll click that point. That's going to be the new origin. When I select OK, you'll notice that this becomes dotted. And this axis is my active axis. I can change that to be brighter by switching the color to white make it thicker all right now if I really want to work on this axis the easiest way for me to get in there is just to hide the absolute axis and then I do a view fit all in and it puts that axis in the center and it's just like working off the normal absolute axis except that we're now working in true coordinates okay that being said I'm gonna pick on this profile and create a sketch I'm gonna slide down a little bit and I'm gonna create a sketch using profile and I'm going to make this simple just make it uh, actually that's a little thin let's make it a thick L bracket so I'm using my grid to make sure it's a half inch all the way around I'm going to go ahead and hit auto constraint and reference these elements. Select OK. I'm going to go into contact. Contact to the horizontal axis, the bottom profile. Contact. And the part's fully constrained. I'm going to go ahead and exit. And we'll build a pad. Oh, I made a mistake. Select OK. Let's reverse that direction. Try three inches and preview it. Yeah, that looks good. I'll select OK. I can't have two sketches in this. This will be one of the things I constantly check for. You can, I may not have told you up this, I may have continued to make you redraw it from scratch, but now that hopefully you know better, if you do make this mistake, you can select the sketch in the geometrical set, drag and drop it on the part body, so there will be only the sketch one recognized in the part body. This will prevent you from having a lot of headaches. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, 
refine command. And under refine, I want to talk about edge fillets. And they're pretty simple. All you have to do is select the edge fillet, select this edge. And notice I got the whole face. You want to be careful to grab just the edge of the part. Usually I like to wait for it to highlight and tell me it's going to grab the edge. Um, let's go with a quarter inch fillet. Okay, so again, the step was corner, grab an edge. It remembered the last radius I used, which is fine. I'll select OK. Select an edge, grab the corner, select OK. And uh, I want to do the bottom edge. One of the things I find helpful, I don't have to spin or rotate. I can just change my shade mode to wireframe. So I'll use the wireframe mode. Then I should be able to grab that edge in here without even rotating. I got the back edge. Go back to corner. Select OK. All right. Now, some people may tell you you need to put in each fillet one at a time. And one of the reasons why you may hear that is so that you can click on one and hit delete so it will go away and not affect the others. Okay. So that's one thing. Uh, one thing here too is if you are trying to maintain a constant thickness, this doesn't work. This radius has to be bigger than this radius here. All right. Um, I don't agree with using this technique. I'm going to go ahead and delete these out and show you another technique by going to refine corner. I like to grab all three edges at once and hit OK. And the reason why I like to do all three at once. Let's see if I can shade this. Oh, where did I? Oh, there's. So I'm going to shade this back with edges. So you can kind of see those edges over there. All right. So, some will say, well, yeah, if you want to delete this one to keep the other two, they're all going to go away. I'm going to hit undo to that. That's the control Z on my keyboard or this undo button here. Instead of doing that that way, anytime you want to change something that's existing, you want to double click. So, I want to modify something that's existing. I can double click, and then it's like I didn't hit OK yet when I did the fillets. If I turn this off and select OK, now only these two are filled in. Again, I double click on this. You can even add it back. I select that edge. OK. I'll go back wireframe and grab this edge down in here. Select OK. So you can see I have fillets on this block, okay? But I want the fillets to not have this dimension or this one in here. So again, double click on this. If you click on it, it's no longer highlighted in red. If I click on this one, it's no longer highlighted in red. Click on this one. Now I've only got the top being filleted. I can grab this one. Select OK, and that's what's going to get filleted is the two edges that are highlighted in red. So you can modify and add easily just by double clicking the edge fillet, and that's why I don't like to do each fillet one at a time. All right. So let's say 
you wanted uh, let's get rid of this fillet here let's say you want to add these two fillets what I see most people do is they go into refine and add the fillet by grabbing another edge and grabbing another edge over here and selecting OK but now what you've got is you've got two fillets that are the same size for this particular example I think it'd be a lot better if you instead of having two branches you double click this fillet and grab the edge on the top and this edge over here so I got nice smooth round fillets not going to hurt anybody okay so typically the uh, flats surfaces on an L-shaped bracket will be mounted to something so I don't need to worry about rounding off this edge or this edge but I may want to round off this one uh, especially if this were to resemble a sheet metal bracket so again I can't do this because that radius is not a big enough radius okay so that radius needs to be the inside radius plus the thickness but I can't modify it because if I try and modify that to the radius quarter inch plus the thickness of a half inch and type in 75, it's going to try and do all four of them. And I only want to modify the one. So I'm going to hit undo. So using this feature here, edge fillet, I'm going to have to remove that bottom one. Again, what some people will do is click on that bottom one. And then hit delete and then they tell you see that's why you should never do that now you got to build the three fillets all over again and again I would say undo you do not have to start all over you just double click on an existing fillet it goes back in time as if you never said okay it allows you to deactivate that bottom line so that I have three fillets on the top and I could add all under this fillet branch I could add a new fillet so if you want a fillet to be a different size you add it separate in its own branch we'll put in 0.75 okay and that's what that bigger fillet would look like so you'd have this fillet its own size, these three fillets, its same size. I'd like you to create the same part, practice adding and deleting fillets as seen in this video. And that basically is going to be how you create, oh, assignment day nine. Now, 2x2 two two is the leg length of the angle, half inch is the thickness of the L bracket, and 2 inches is the depth of the L bracket. Okay, so basically I just did assignment day 9 demo 1. I want you to name that part L bracket with corners. And it should look like basically like this when you're done. on to the next video after completing this ball.